Hey everyone, Trin Lord here, and today we're playing some more Fire Emblem The Binding Blade. Last time, we completed Chapter 2 The Prince of Burn. So, now, we'll start with a new chapter of this. Does North of Thorea stand Castle Arathon? The armies of Lycia gathered here to make preparations to strike back at Burn. That makes sense. Uh, from the map, we can see that there's a break in the mountains. Now, uh, when Roy and Guinevere are only a short distance from Castle Arathon, the messenger brings some shocking news. I scarcely believe it. Native to Burn are savage flying reptilian creatures known as Wyverns. Leading Burn's army is a trio of elite commanders known as the Wyvern Generals. Named so for their combat prowess, and said to be comparable to the Wyverns. Oh dear. Two of these three, Brunia and Marcion, have attacked Castle Arathon, virtually decimating the Lycian army while I was little prepared. Oh crap. The morale of the group takes a blow, but Roy continues to Castle Arathon. To see it for himself, and hopefully find an aid in his survivors. So we start. And now we start. Chapter 3 They Come of Sorrow. <clears throat> Your Majesty, we have captured the enemy commander. Oh, yeah? Right. Yeah, that's not good. Good. Bring him for me. Zephiel, did you not hear what I was saying? It's literally. I was literally just saying it's not good, okay? Pay attention, man. Very rude. Very rude, Seth. No! Lord Hector! You. Lord Hector of the Banner's Blue Beard! Or Zephyr, the King of Burn! Blackhearted fiend! Ah, Lord Hector. You have my highest praise for lasting so long against two of my wives and generals. I suppose Ostia's reputation as the most powerful house in I see is well earned. The strongest of a pile of worms is hardly a match for my boot, however. Friends and I, if you have any last words, I'd suggest you spit them out. Just tell them. Why? What was that? Burn and Lycia. We were always on good terms with each other. Right, yes, okay. Yeah. Even when you took the throne, we always paid our respects to Burn. Respect. Pah! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. The whole continent shall be my domain. Only then can the world be liberated. Uh, what? So he's going out conquering to liberate the world. So he's going to occupy country countries to liberate them. I... What? Okay, yeah. Logic, man. I lack the time to concern myself with such trivial matters as respect. You mean to liberate the world? What do you speak of? Pay no heed. You're at least seeing it, anyway. You there! Take him away! Throw this dead man into a dungeon! Yes, Your Majesty. What an arsehole. Your Majesty, I will take my leave now. I must return to the plains of Sakaia. Oh, yeah. Yes, be on your way. One matter before I leave, Your Majesty. If you will allow my opinion, I would not place so much trust in that woman. Uh, who? You speak of me, Eden? Yes, Your Majesty. This is a reference to Norse mythology. Sorry, I'm a nerd. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you things. Edun is the one who has the um, the apples of youth uh, in Norse mythology that all the gods eat to stay young. Yes, Your Majesty. The men call her the Dark Priestess mm, and find her presence disturbing. I understand that she is a shaman of great power, but Brunia, do you doubt my judgment? Ah, no, of course not, Your Majesty. I just think, your duty is not to think, your duty is to follow orders. Well, I mean, she is a general, so I mean, she is supposed to think about strategy and such, no? Is that clear? 
Yes, Your Majesty. The will shall be done. Do you doubt my judgment? Dear me, the words that come out of my mouth sometimes. So he's going. So he's kind of nuts, but not quite entirely insane yet. Or what? Or something? Or Tekka still lives? Yeah, probably. I thought some of the soldiers take him into this castle. Chan, do you know the entire castle rap as well? I guess so. Wait, are you guys going to try to save Lord Hector? Sounds like a bad idea to me. Most Burns forces are gone, but there are still plenty of soldiers in the castle. Marching in would be suicide. Well, we have a history of taking on large group of soldiers. Perhaps. You said most of their army's already gone. Can't afford to lose Lord Hector. If we have a chance, we must take it. Really now? I'll come with you now. I can show you around the castle. What? You don't have to do that. Please, just explain uh, what the interior of the castle is like. I've got a, bo I've got a bone to pick with burn. Please, let me go with you. If you insist, we're happy to have you. I think your skills will be an asset. Yeah, I can pick any locked doors or chest. Lord Roy. I'm sorry for my brother. I didn't think the invasion would pick up so quickly. Princess, you're not responsible for this. Please don't blame us. Zion, Nicaea is still united. We see Lord Hector to lead our army so we can fight. We must retake Castle Raffin for all of Nicaea and for Lilina. Ooh, crush do we, Roy? Let's move out! Yes. New chapter! Head. Oh, there's a house up there. I think I'm going to send a contingent up there to explore. There's also one over here. Just there. I have plenty of knights, and then there's this place which is locked. Yeah, let's see what our objective is. Seize the throne. Yeah, well, where's the throne? Please tell me where the throne is. Anyway. Yes, okay. So, we'll send a group up here. Is that house? I think we're going to use a uh, new, the uh, a new thief here, Chad. By the way, don't bother leveling it up. You get a, you get another thief who's way better later. So, yeah, don't don't bother leveling it up much. And yeah, and you can go there. Okay, so we'll send Chad along with Shanna, I think. Up there. Yeah. They can uh, they can handle themselves. Or rather, Shanna can handle herself, and then Jack can be like backup. And we'll also send Paul's along just in case it gets really bad. Right. Okay. Now we need to deal with these things. Let's do the classic trick of luring them. But first, we need really need to get Melinda the hell out. And you. Okay, the only person who can actually get to them is this guy. Which means we'll take Merlinas and get him the hell out of there because Merlinas is Merlinas and he can't really fight people. Also, let's just take the Iron Lancers and the Iron Sword Markers. He's not going to do any fighting ever. And then we'll give it all to the match. There we go. That's Merlinas done. Right. We don't want to get into this guy's range. Oh, he's got a javelin. Oh, see. Okay, here's what we do. We move Alan away, just real quick. Yeah. And we take the bolt and move him here. And he, and that means he's only in range if that guy throws his javelin. And bolt is an archer so he can fight back. Good. Yes. Okay. And then just see, can he get to Ellen? No, we can't. Okay, good. So, Bolt's the only person we can get to. Let's end our turn then. Okay, that guy moves closer. In fact, they all do, it seems. But that's not really important. We can deal with them on our turn. The important is that this guy goes for Bolt. And I'll dodge it, but he's just the best. Okay, could you please do like two hits? Yeah, Bolt! You're great. Yeah, Bolt's great. Okay. So. Yeah, they just keep moving closer. Look at that, there's something happening there. 
Thanks for taking the children under your care, Bishop. Of course. The St. Elamine Church will take good care of the orphans. And what will you do, Lou? I'm going to stay here. I have some things to take care of. Is that so? Please be safe. Yes, you too. Make sure you listen to what the priest says, okay? I'm not coming with this, Lou. I'm going to wait for Chad. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, Chad, as in our new thief. So yeah, that's why I'm sending him up there. Yay, Chad's coming too. Of course. I want Ray back too. Yes. Ray would come back we could all be together again. Who the hell is Ray? Children, you must be off. See you, Lou. Don't take too long. Yes, yes, yes. Hurry along now. Okay. I'm sorry for lying. I've chosen not to run away anymore. No. So yeah, Bishop runs away with the kids. But Lou stays there. And he knows Chad. So that's why I'm sending Chad up there. Along with Jenna. Balls, balls. So Shannon and Balls, they are going to do the bulk of the fighting here. So let's send in Balls to do some damage. Yeah, yeah, kill that guy. Excellent. Boom. Oh, just that one. And he misses. Not that it would have made a difference, but his ball is the perfect meat shield and he's just so chunky. Okay, let's see. So, can Shanna take out those guys? Because I want Shanna to get the experience. Okay, she can't quite kill him. But she can do rather lovely damage, yes. Okay, yeah, okay so we'll slim lance him. I'll do, well, yeah, that'll do very good damage. And she'll have an excellent shot. Dodge. Yeah, Shanna dodges. And even crits. Okay, she gets the kill anyway. Woo! Shanna's amazing. Like I keep saying, level her up. Okay, good set. Come on. That was really crappy. Bother. Anyway, okay, thank you. She's not the main of the option. Let's just move Chad because he needs to be there. Okay. Well, you finished what you started. Kill that guy. Boom. Excellent. Right, yes. Well, he gets to kill that guy. Now then. Okay. Wade, you're an axe man. We have not quite level up. There's plenty of spear fellows here. Let's take care of them. Yeah, weapon triangle advantage. Always a good thing. And if you could dodge. Yeah, Wade! 50% chance is by no means a certain hit, but it's also... Usually, they get you. And even a good level up. Excellent! Yeah. Wade's doing great. Yeah. And he is enraged with that guy, but, well, Axe and this guy can't devil anymore, so that's what I'm right. Right then. Who can get the first? We'll move Roy down there, because I want Roy to get experience. Because it's very important for Roy to actually level up, because he, um, well, remember I said Marcus was a promoter? Yeah, you can promote most of your units using special items. But Roy doesn't promote until a certain story event very late in the game, so yeah, you want to level him up. He, he has to level up. In order to, yeah, stay relevant. And it's kind of annoying because he's, he promotes really, really, really late in the game, and it's bloody annoying because he gets almost no time to actually train up and be super powerful promoted unit. You know, like everyone else does when you just promote them normally. Yeah, okay, I'm quite ready to end our turn. So let's see. Yeah, so they all just rush out together, by the way. Okay, Wade just keeps dodging and smacking people on the head with his axe, because Wade is amazing. He's just kicking ass and taking names, and I love it. Okay, so he goes for Roy. Roy gets hit, that bother, but he does get a nice hit in his armor slayer. Which I certainly didn't have to turn so I'm equipped, but I forgot that he had a weapon. So let's see what he can do with an iron sword. Maybe he can just barely not kill him in one hit. It's annoying because then we'll have to be you know, damaged as he dodges. However, he can survive a hit. It's not that likely to actually get him. We have Ellen right nearby, and we can take care of the other one. Yeah, I think I'm going to let Warrior do this. And if he could dodge that, would be great, but if he doesn't, that's all right. 
Doesn't dot, bit annoying, but well, take what you can get. So Roy gets some experience, gets a kill, lovely. And we take Lot here. Nice burly axe load, and then he smacks this guy on the head with the axe twice, and then boom, excellent, we're done. And he even dodges, not your great. Yeah. Okay. So, let's send, um, let's send Lance over here, he can visit that house and get things. We want things from houses. In the meantime, Ellen, get down there and heal Roy. I feel like he's going to need more than one healing, though, which is slightly annoying. Yeah, he's going to need more than one healing. Bother. Anyway, this the further they can get to is there, that's because it's hard. Let's move Bolt right there. Okay, on. Uh, let's not move Bolt right there. Crap, I can just get to it. It's like, okay. Okay, can you get to there? No, you cannot. Okay, so let's move Bolt up to this space, where you can have his own little archer fight with that guy. Yeah. Good. Okay. And we'll move Alan to, like, no... Actually, no, we'll just let Wade take care of it. Wade's great. No, actually, no. We'll move up Alan. Yeah, well, no. We're trying to keep it even here. What the levels. Now, unfortunately, Shan is the only one who can get to this guy. This turn yeah, and not get in his range, which is kind of annoying. But unfortunately, we also have a slight problem that he is. Well, okay, now here's what we do we use Meat Shield Balls to tank and javelin. There we go. Yeah, lure him in with Meat Shield Balls. That'll be good. Yep, so Balls is in range. Good. Um, okay, so we'll let them come to us, as per usual, because I love letting them come to us. And he's basically just, oh, you want to go murder me? Yeah, sure, go ahead, give it a shot, but I'm just going to kick crap at you when you try, so yeah. Have fun. I love doing that. We have a little cutscene here. Nasia! What is causing all that noise? What's left of the enemy on my team? I've got one last. Shall I summon the dragons, your highness? Uh, the dragons? What? I thought they were just out wyverns, what the hell? Dragons? Seriously? No need, lady, we can handle none of that so much as breaking a sweat. I highly doubt that, because I'm amazing. Silence. Not now, you didn't. Then the dragons back to burn as planned. Yes, your highness, as you will. Ugh. I agree with the burning and soldier. That chick is creepy. Silence. I do must return the burn. Narcia, I leave Lycia in your hands. What shall I do with the remnants of the Lycian army? Kill all who stand against you. Oh yeah, we can actually see um, King Zethiel, that's the guy on the throne, he's actually promoted you. What of women and children? Was I unclear? Kill all who stand against you. Right, grind them to dust. Jesus. What? Okay, Zephyr's an artichet and really evil. I get he's the main villain. I get the fact that he's the main villain, but still, right. Ensure no others dare dream of opposing us. Of course you would. Hmm. Yeah, they get out then. Nothing goes on the throne. Hmm. <laughs> what does his majesty see in that evil anyway? Well, I think it's time I left as well. Later, I entrust the castle to you. Might I inquire where you're going, sir? A Marquis who turned against what I see has a special gift me. Oh, you son of a. Of course, there's a Marquis who turned against me. Lovely! Just great! Is that it is a girl? It's a girl of Etrurian nobility. Oh, you utter shit. Right, man. Is every Pernian just an utter arsehole of really creepy? Seriously? Hmm. <laughs> Throw in ability. You must be quite a cat. Ah, gross. Right. Yeah, the mark was telling me she's a beautiful thing. Buzz off, please. Like, seriously. Gross. You must be looking forward to it, Tyre. Shut up, you two! Go kill yourself in a hole. And 
then set yourself on fire. Seriously, Christ. Please be careful on your way now. You be careful too, Slater. Don't let these scattered remnants defeat you. Oh, we're gonna defeat them, and we're gonna find you and we're gonna kick your ass. Once we've promoted, of course. Should you fail, I personally will order your evisceration. Christ. Silence. Have mercy, sire. <laughs> Look. What a creep. Uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Enemy turn. Let's go. Yeah, he does indeed go for meat shield balls. Good balls. No damage! And he even gets a javelin in him. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay. They get some cavalry reinforcements, which is a bit annoying. For some reason, the archer doesn't go for a belt, though. That's... Oh, I see. So this guy, being the utter shit that he is, got in the way. Oh yeah, well I'm gonna bolt you in the face. That's quite, not quite enough. So look, you do have a hair neck, no? Ah, uh, he's gonna get in the rain. Well, I don't care. I hate this guy, he's annoying. I had a beautiful plan, I'm going to kill him. Screw you, sir. Screw you, sir. I feel better now. This bolt can get the kill and get the experience. So yeah, lovely. Boom! Screw you, sir. Now there's the question of who the archer's gonna go for, because both of them, uh, Bolt and Lot are in range, but Lot has a hand axe whip, and also archers, so they can both respond to fire. Which means he's gonna go for them, so yeah. It's not good, because usually they just go for whoever can't kill them. But in this case, we take both of them. Yeah, we're gonna have to see what he goes for. Anyway, let's just finish off the arch here with balls. And a nice lovely iron lance. Yeah, there we go. And balls levels up. Excellent! Oh yeah, let's see. Okay, good stats, come on. Good stats. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Excellent. Yeah. Now, Shanna, move up. You know, get ready to stand around there. Actually, like, no, she doesn't need to because she's the only person who needs to stand around there. Is Chad, because he needs to get the uh, Shanna doesn't, so Shanna can now return to the battlefield. Don't like this archer being uh, annoying, and I have to like keep everyone nearby. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ah, someone needed healing. Bloody hell! Forgot. Okay. Anyway, enter. He has to go for someone, now, right? If he doesn't go for someone, I'm going to be severely annoyed. He does indeed go for someone. Bolt, in this case. And Bolt is the superior archer, so we have nothing to worry about. And Bolt even levels up. Yes! Combat experience! I love you! That's probably the craftiest level up in the history of crafty level ups, but yeah, sure. Anyway... Hmm... Who would like a kill? Wade, how about you? No, Wade, you can... No, okay. Lot, go deal with this guy. He annoys me. His presence annoys me. So yeah, let's do some kablamoing and some dodging. Lovely! He's dead. Excellent! And Lot levels up! Oh, amazing! This, this is just going great for us. And he was even a decent level up! Excellent! Yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's take Chad move him into the house. Hello, person! Chad! You okay? Ooh, what are you doing here? We were hiding here. Oh. Where's everybody else? Are they all right? Yeah, the St. Elamine Church is going to watch over. And what about you? What? Why are you still here? Same reason as you. What? No, you're not thinking of I can use some magic. Remember, I borrowed that fire gem from Papa's room. No, you can't. You're incapable of harming others. But... I'm going to avenge Papa. You stay here with- you stay with the others, Blue. I'm not going to hide anymore. I'm tired of everyone leaving you. Papa, you, and even Ray. I want to fight to protect the people that I care for. I can't let others die for me my whole life. Blue. Fine. Once we finish Burn, we can go back and see everyone again. Yeah! So, we get ourselves a mage! And I love mages and fire them. Because the thing about mages is, they can attack both range and a place. It's great. So, 
We uh, we have an archer here. Okay, if we don't think we can kill him, but if say say Lou wants to kill Girl Vult here, or that archer, well get him. Well, anyway, say Lou wants to kill Vult or the archer, he could get it. He could get in close and thus do no damage. Or but say there's a non soldier, he could shoot him from afar and take no damage. Mages are great, but unfortunately, because they're so versatile, they have to you know, be balanced out, so they are also quite weak, physically speaking. So they don't have uh, much defense, which is slightly annoying. Anyway, let's move the troops down here. Bolt, you just level up. I don't need you to get the experience. Alan, how about you? Yeah, Alan, you do get some experience. So, how about you just iron tools? Yep, okay, that sounds good. Boom! And boom. Dead. Excellent. Alan gets some experience. Now let's see. Not go visit the house. There we go. What's left of it? I see an army, aren't you? Here, yeah, take this and go quickly. We may be occupied by burn, but we're still I see an art. He gets himself a men, which is great because it's a um, more powerful heal star. Then we'll give that Ellen, that'll be good. Okay. So. Yes. Let's move up the troops. Now we're finally ready to move into the castle itself. We've recruited some people. We've cleared out the front area and we've visited the houses. So that's quite good. Let's move up and get ready to fight. Inside. Someone needs healing, so yeah. We'll just heal away. Okay. Because wait, blah, blah. Never mind. Not important, but we'll do it for the experience and, you know, this is healing, so yeah. Volt and Marcus, you just turn on, because, yeah. I just want to move all the troops, and Melanus as well, because we could need some things. Yeah, they get more reinforcement. Uh, they don't have an infinite supply of uh, horse, uh, of cavaliers, they're lovely. But yeah, they're gonna get, they're gonna be coming for us soon. Roy, how can you deal with this guy? Can't quite kill him. Well, how about you? You can do some damage so Roy can kill him. Oh yeah, excellent. One HP for him when Bolt stands with him. Excellent. I'm, I keep telling you, Bolt's good. He's really good actually. And let's just move down Shanna. Balls, of course. They need to get in. They need to join up with the rest of us. Along with the uh, new recruits, of course, Lou and Chad. Chad because we want the treasures, and Lou because the magic. Magic is excellent. Now, I, like I, like with Shanna, Lou starts at off very low level. He's level one, with zero experience, and yeah, so nothing. But he can get very powerful. Trust me, I've played the first couple of chapters. And well, the thing about magic is it goes, it basically it goes through defense. You need an entirely different stat to deal with magic called resistance. And as you can see, this bloke has literally zero resistance. So Lou can make quite... He can do some quite excellent work dealing with knights. Yeah. Keep some mages with him. Right, now that that guy's weakened, we can send him Roy and I'm sort of dead. Kaplano, Roy gets experience. Lovely. There we go. Who else? They can get to Roy now. Well, one of them can. In that case, I think I'm just gonna let them sit there, let the boy get the experience because main character. Yeah, we'll move that troops up, but we'll let Roy take the fight this time. And we'll also just kill him with Ellen real quick. Good. So we're just gathering the troops, getting ready to move into the castle itself. Um, and Lance, you get in question. Oh good, Lance can uh, Lance has almost rejoined us. The only person who has to move is Marcus and Melinus. There we go. Lovely. Okay. Here comes that guy to kill Roy. Roy takes some damage, but Roy is also amazing, so he gets into bits, me leaving this guy on the brink of death. Lovely. Ah, uh, and of course the others also move in place. Right. 
Let's start by having Roy deal with this guy. Basically, annoys me and Roy can kill him and get the equipment. Boom! Dead. Lovely. Let's move on. And Roy even levels up. Yes! Lovely! Okay, good set. Come on. Yeah! Four, four sets up. Excellent. Right, yes. Also, uh, Pegasus Knights actually have excellent movement. So if you see there's a lot of maidens, bring some Pegasus Knights. So they can take care of them. Quite happy. Move up Shanna. Who's in range? Okay, they're basically all locked. Nobody's in range of that guy, but the Cavaliers, being Cavaliers, have quite good movement. Let's see if Alan can do anything about that. Alan is Alan, or he's quite badass. So we can't double hit them, of course, because they are also Cavaliers, but he can do 10 lovely, beautiful damage. And then Volt, okay, Volt can do 5 damage, right? We've been our Axemen. Okay, no, let's not do that because they have Swords equipped. No, that guy doesn't. Right, yeah. Okay, uh, okay. No matter what, we need to get Volt the hell out of there because he can't really deal with them. And let's take Deke, move him up. You know, start to use him, actually. And Lance as well, of course. I will equip. He doesn't have a Lance. Why the hell does he not have a Lance? Okay, Melina is right there. Give him a Lance. Give Lance a Lance. Yeah. Take yourself a Lance. And also take yourself a Javelin, because Lance also needs a Javelin. And trade with Lance, because he needs the things. There we go. And Ellen, just go down. Anyone hurt? Okay, Roy's hurt. So we'll give Ellen the... No... Ellen, the... Ellen is in danger. That's not good. We'll move Ellen down here. She'll trade with Lance for the Mend. Good. Okay. And she can just yeah, heal Volt real quick. Good. And I am going over 30 minutes now. So... We're going to let this turn play out. Just move up our good old Cavaliers in. Equip the Lance. Yeah. Move up our back Cavaliers. Get ready to fight. Yeah. My Lance, good. Our Axemen. And Pauls. So I'll let the enemy do their turn, and then we're going to end the episode. Well, let's see what they do. There goes Deke. That's a mistake, trust me. Deke's very powerful. And he's also fast enough to get a double kill. Deke gets a kill. First kill for Deke, actually, I think. So the Cavalier's going in now. Going for all ways. Yes. And he missed. That's unfortunate. Luckily, they don't get double hits anymore. At least that one doesn't. That's good. Goes for Roy. Of course he does. Roy dodges because he's the best. Excellent. Okay, so the new Cavaliers move closer. And yeah, like I said, we're going to end the episode here. So, next time on Fire Emblem, we're going to take back the castle. Hopefully. At least we're going to make great progress. We're going to have murders and we're going to fight these guys and we're going to get in close. We're going to get very far in the castle. So if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. If you want to see more videos like it, all you have to do is subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and have a very nice day. Goodbye.